So, Life Path 11 versus Destiny 11. Okay, so, from my experience so far, it seems the difference between Life Path 11 and Destiny Expression 11 is that, so the Destiny 11, Expression 11, usually seem to know their spiritual self, their higher self, even since birth, like since you came into this world, since you came out your mother's womb. It seems like people with Destiny 11 already know that they are spiritual. They already know that there is something greater than this, right? Versus Life Path 11, it seems like, from my experience, <laughs> It seems as if Life Path 11 is trying to figure out that there's something greater than this. Right? So, for example, a Destiny number 11, they just know. Even if they haven't reached their potential, even if they not spiritual, they can be a religious person. They could be a you know, somebody who think God in the sky and they need to pray into the sky. Even if they like that, it's like they still know that, hold on, something not right. They just know something ain't right. They always knew something's not right. Things aren't adding up. Things ain't what they seem. Versus a life path, 11, it's like they don't know until they start to grow and cultivate that 11 vibration frequency. So, from my experience, <laughs> it seems as if Life Path's 11, it seems like most of them be into religion. Like, they looking for a God in the sky. They're looking for the Messiah. They're looking for Christ. And not a Christ consciousness. Not a Christ heart. They're looking for a physical manifestation of Christ. Until it start clicking and they start to think, like, hold on, something ain't right. What's this? What's that? You know? Especially if they into uh, research and study. So, what I'm trying to say is, if you were Destiny 11, you probably always knew things weren't right. You probably always knew it was more to than this physical reality. You probably was the one in your group of friends, peers, family, associates, co-workers, who could just tell that it's more to this than what we know. People probably looked at you like you were special. They looked at you like you were different. Like People could see you and, and see that you different as a Destiny 11. They're like, this, he different. And people probably have told you this out of their own mouth. You different. You're not like everybody else. I notice you. I be watching you. I can see how you move. You don't move like everybody else. Versus a life path, 11. They have a hard time dealing with these things. Because it seems like life paths, 11, be around people who want to keep them in this illusion, in this matrix, in this physical reality. That's why that's they like lesson. Because they have to learn how to break away from this. Stop looking in the sky or a book for God and start looking within a self. 
once the life after 11 starts to look into their self, now they can see. But it's still a journey. It's going to always be somebody or something or some place that's going to try to drag you back into this physical reality. It's like as a, as a life after 11, it's like you just constantly fighting. You're constantly fighting for the guy within yourself. You constantly, mm, 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 mm. get back, get back, move out the way, move, move, leave me alone. You dodging and weaving <laughs> because something always trying to get you to not grow into that 11 vibration because once you grow into that 11 vibration, you start to shine. Very bright. So bright that some people can't take it. But you have to learn how to be you. You have to learn how to love yourself and stop looking for people to validate your experience. You got to find your own truth. You need to find your own knowing and stop looking at other people like, hey, is this true? Is this true? What do you think about this? What do you think about that? You the truth bringer. As of the 11. You the truth bringer. You the Messiah. You the messenger. So as long as you are here looking for truth from other people, how are you going to find your own truth? And that's what the universe wants from you. That's what the all wants from you. It wants you to bring the truth to this physical reality. Because the truth is the truth. The truth don't care what nobody thinks. The truth don't need nobody's approval. It don't need nobody's validation. The truth is the truth, and it will always be the truth. And that's you, 11. You bring that truth to this reality. Now, as a Destiny 11, you probably know this. You are, you, you're like, I know what he's talking about. I've been feeling like this since I was two years old. <laughs> right? But that don't mean you get a clean slate because you probably go through the same, some of the same stuff that the life path go through. The only difference is it's like, it's like this in you already. So your destiny might be 11, but your life path is another, maybe another number. Or in some cases, it might be 11. Some people have life path 11 and destiny number 11. Now imagine how that would look. Once again, this is my experience. This is not something I read out of a book. It's not a video I watched on YouTube. This is just my experience so far. Because I'm still experiencing, which means I will be coming back again to speak on this topic again once I get more experience and more knowledge and wisdom. I'll be back to speak on it again. But today, right now, at this moment, this is what I have to bring to the table. So if you are life half 11 and you can, look up, you know, Destiny 11. People, not books, not YouTube videos, Go out and look at people who have the Destiny 11 vibration, like myself, and see how they operate, see how they think, feel out their vibrations, and see what you can learn from them, because they got a lot to teach you. For example, I'm a Destiny 11, but my life half is 8. So I'm learning a lot of things about 8. The eight vibration, the eight frequency. I'm learning a lot about that and how to cultivate that and how to get the best out of it. And bring that to the physical reality. Because my destiny number is 11. So that's what I have. That Those are my gifts, talents, and abilities. That's what I have. But my life path is eight. So that's what I'm working on the most. I'm not working on Destiny 11. Yes, 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 I'm still getting lessons from the 11 as well. But I always knew 
even before I got into numerology and astrology and tarot and esoteric, esoteric, because, you know, some of y'all crap about how people pronounce words. <laughs> even before I got into all the occult and all that, I always knew that something wasn't right. When my grandma used to make us go to church every Sunday, I knew this ain't what they think it is. They they in here acting like this, but this not how they really are. So what's going on? Y'all up in this church talking about God and all this stuff, but y'all really nasty, ugly people on the inside. Y'all selfish. Y'all lie. Y'all steal. Y'all cheat. Y'all don't care about nothing. You don't care about nothing but yourself. But you in here talking about God and how God going to save you. How God going to save you and you running around here acting the fool and you want me to believe that this is your salvation? No. I go to church to the preacher talking. Who is he? Who he supposed to be? Why we got to sit here and listen to him? Who gave him the authority to come up here and tell me what I'm supposed to be doing with my life and what I should believe in? So I always knew. And at first I was afraid because I didn't want to go to hell. Right? So I used to be trying to be cautious. Let me be cautious just in case it's real. <laughs> but something happened. Something happened. And I was like, hold on. So I'm right. I'm, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm feeling. This is a lie. This ain't the truth. This book this ain't it. This ain't it. This Bible. This ain't it. Because before the Bible was written, everything was here already. God was already here. But I ain't gonna get too deep in that. So, like I said, from my experiences, it seems like a lot of life has struggled between finding their own spirituality. Not somebody else's spirituality. Not what you think spirituality is supposed to look like. Your own. Your own spirituality. Because some life past 11s that I know, they seem to look at other people and try to mimic them. Or they, it's like sometimes they even be paranoid to where they think that they think they need to protect themselves from all these negative energies and negative beings. And it's like, you don't have to do that. You already protected. I am protected. I am always protected. All you got to do is do you. And you'll be fine. But like I was saying, so I'm a, I'm a life half eight, so I'm working on the eight. I got my hammer, my tools, and I'm doing everything I can to make the best out of this. Not the worst. Not the, oh, what if this happened to me? What if this happened to me? They said Saturn the planet of restriction. Oh, my God. They said Saturn is limitation. Ah. Uh -huh. Everything I try to do is always a step, obstacles and challenges. Nope. The best. So that means if I'm doing my thing and it's a limitation or a restriction, that's supposed to be there. I ain't supposed to be afraid of it. I'm not supposed to complain and be like, oh my God, it's always something trying to stop me. It's Saturn. No. Uh, thank you, Saturn. Thank you for thank you for putting that blockage right there. So I won't be a fool and try to go somewhere I don't need to be. Let me let me go over here. Cause there ain't no limitations right here, so I must can go this way. Let me go this way. I just don't need to be afraid of anything, nothing, nobody, no place. Because you are God. So what you afraid of? And I just feel like it's a lot of life paths who need to hear this message. Life path 11 in particular who need to hear this message because 
It's like they got this Christ complex that they think Jesus is going to come and save them. Until they learn to cultivate. Look at Kyrie Anthony, for example. See how he, you see how he stood up for himself? And he had to go through all this stuff, people talking about him. But you got to stay true to yourself. Stay true to yourself. It's like he said, it's more to life than basketball. As a Destiny 11, you know that. You already know that. You're like, oh, yeah, it's more to life than basketball. But see, Kyrie is an 11. I don't know him personally, but I'm just saying from my speculation, which ain't law, is that maybe once upon a time in his life, he thought basketball was all, was it. He thought that's what he wanted to do, go to the NBA, win a championship, and retire. But now that 11, wow, smacking him. Wake up, Kyrie, get up. And you're like, oh, it's, hold on. It's more to life than this. Not everybody want to attack him and jump on him. <laughs> and talk about him. That's, what, that's what's going to happen. That's a life happy life. And that's what's supposed to happen. Because you're going to show people the truth. After they get down trying to beat you down and they see it ain't working, they're going to say, hold on. Hmm. We keep trying to beat this person down and it's not working. Maybe we can learn something from this. Because that's what 11s do. We show out. We came to show out. So show out. And I know it can be hard. I know it can be hard trying to show out. Because people are going to say, oh, you being arrogant. Oh, oh. You think you, you just way too confident. You can see that. But when you was being humble, everybody was like you then. Oh, I like him. He's so humble. He's so respectable, which you should be. He got so much good manners, which you should have. But you get the point. As soon as you start putting them two sons in their face, ah, he too bright. I can't take this. I got to go. I can't do this. Show out. Peace out. I love y'all. Have a great day.